tune I'm going to do today is called the Merle Polka, and it's a great example of a tune where we're going to change where we play our high D and high E, depending on what part of the tune we're playing. In this tune, it's much easier to play our high D and high E on the right hand side for the first part, and the left hand side for the second part. So during the first part, I'm playing my high D on the middle row, second button down, pulling out, and pushing in for high E. So that's during the first part. But then during the second part, I'm playing high D and high E on the left hand side. The first row, so the inside row, top button, pushing in for high D, and pulling out for high E. So this is done to avoid having to jump between the same row of the concert with one finger. So if you want to go from an A to a high D, you're jumping using your index finger there. But if you move that high D to the right hand side, you'll go A, and then with the free finger, press your high D over here. So that's why we're going to change where we're playing high D and high E in this tune, depending on whether it's the first part or the second part. Now I'm going to play through the Merle Polka nice and slow twice. And remember I'm playing my high D and high E on the right hand side during the first part and the left hand side during the second part. One, two. Let's go through that again now, a bit quicker. Remember I'm playing my high D and my high E on the right hand side for the first part and on the left hand side for the second part. One, two.
go on now for the last time round. Bit quicker again. One, two. <coughs>